In this lecture, we're going to learn advanced charting and formatting techniques. These are the topics that we are going to cover. Overlapped bar charts and series gaps. Negative bars. Highlighting the maximum or minimum item automatically. Adding an average line to a chart. So let's get started. Here I have some data, revenue and net profit for a company from 2015 to 2018. By default, if I make a column chart out of this data, it will look like this. Now we are going to create a visual effect where profits are slightly overwrapping the revenue figures so that it is easy to compare. How can we do that? Right click on the net profit series, the orange columns, then format data series. By default, series overlap percentage is set to the middle, sometimes zero, sometimes negative. Let's set it to 50%, which this kind of visual effect. Gap width was the width between the two different points in the series. I recommend setting this from 50 to 150%. The final result is this. Profits are slightly overlapping the revenue figures, so let's move on. The next topic we are going to talk about is negative bars. Here I have some similar data with some losses in revenue. Also I have removed the net profit column. Here is the default column chart that Excel created where everything is the same color. As you already know, when the values are negative, we usually highlight them in different color, like red for example. Okay, let's see the steps to achieve negative bars. First, right click on any bar and select Format Data Series. The Format Data Series pane appears to the right of the screen. Click on the Fill and Line tab, it's the bucket icon. From the Fill section, check the option called Invert if Negative. The negative series is looking like this. No fill color inside, only the outline appears. The next step is to fill them with the red color. If I click solid color, I will notice that I have to fill two different color buckets, one for positive bars and one for negative bars. Let's change the inverted fill color. The same technique can be applied to any other type of chart. This is how you can show negative bars. Next, we're going to learn how to highlight the maximum or minimum value. Here is a default column chart. Of course, we need the max value in the year 2018, but I want to highlight the values dynamically. I'll use the IF function to find the max or minimum value, and I've already added an extra column called MAX. Now start typing. Equal IF parenthesis B34 equals to the max parenthesis B34 to B37 with absolute reference close parenthesis comma, comma, not applicable, close parenthesis. It checks if the value is the maximum value in the series, and if it is, then we want that value. Otherwise, we want to display not applicable, n slash a. If you don't understand something in this formula, don't worry. I have a whole section with all the functions you will need, including the if and max functions. Copy this cell all the way down. The max value is 240, of course. Now, right click on the chart, select data, and from the select data source dialog box, I'll add a secondary series. Press the add button from the legend entries. The series name is this cell, C33, and the series values are C34 to C37 cell. Click OK twice. Notice the second orange columns beside the blue one. Next, we're going to overlap these columns completely. Right click on the orange column, Format Data Series, and change the series overlap percentage to 100%. Close the pane. If you want, you can change the color of this max column. I'll change the value of the year 2015 to 300 and enter. Look at the chart. It changed dynamically. The steps are exactly the same if we want to highlight the minimum value. Let's move on and talk about how to add an average line. 
so that it's easy to find out if the values are above average or below average. We'll use the average formula in the first cell, calculating the average of the sales column. So label C48 as an average and type in equal average from B49 to B52 in absolute reference and enter. Copy this cell down. Now let's select the cells from C49 to C52. Copy them. Select the chart and paste. Excel adds the new values as an additional series to the chart. Right click the series 2, the orange columns, change the series chart type and from this dialog box, replace series 2 from a clustered column chart to a line with markers. Click the OK button. This is a technique that adds an average line easily.